my mom, last time I was there visiting her, as she's dropping me off at the airport, she says to me as I'm getting out of the car, listen, I'm gonna be really worried while you're up in the air. So the second you land, I want you to turn on your phone and text me so I know you got there safely. Like, are you serious? <laughs> Is that necessary? Trust me, if I don't make it safely to another major US city in a 747 with 200 other Americans, <laughs> CNN's gonna let you know immediately. <laughs> It's not like if my mom doesn't alert someone, they're going to be walking around Delta headquarters in a week going, uh, I haven't seen that flight from Miami that was supposed to get here last Thursday. <laughs> no, nah, turns out that thing never showed up. <laughs> Did anybody's mom alert anybody? <laughs> like we're broken down on a cloud somewhere. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's coming from a guy who's afraid to fly. I've developed anxiety when I have to get on planes. Like, I've taken it this far. Whereas most people try to sit as far away from babies on airplanes as possible. I try to sit as close to a baby as I can. Because as a very spiritual man, I've convinced myself that if God's going to protect just one little area of an airplane... <laughs> Just a tidbit more than the rest of it. <laughs> Definitely gonna be the section with a baby. <laughs> I'm not the only one thinking this way. That's why people chat you up when you sit down. They don't really care what you do for a living or where you're traveling to. They just see you're not a baby and they're worried. <laughs> they're hoping for an answer like, oh yeah, me and my whole youth group are going down to Guatemala to build houses for poor people. <laughs> All right, feel pretty good about row 26 right now. 